Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you can see today, I'm repping my jersey. Go Dubs! We're in the finals. Tonight is going to be a really good game. So by the time you guys watch this, it's probably the next day. But anyways, go Warriors! <laughs> so since today is the first final games with the dubs, I kind of wanted to be glammed up because we're probably going to head out somewhere to watch the game. So today I kind of created a very matte smoky winged liner look, meaning I only used three colors to create this look with a little help of some scotch tape. Okay, I lied. I did use six brushes, but this is to blend everything out and apply a little bit of that highlighter. This was just to intensify the liner and this was for my inner highlights. But for the technical part, it was those first three brushes. I went for a pretty full glam today. I don't know what it is, but I just felt like loading a whole bunch of stuff on my face. Did a pretty full coverage with this. Did my old technique using like translucent loose powder, which I haven't used in quite a while. I also did use, actually majority of these were all new products that I purchased, never opened. Along with that note, get ready for this guys, because I actually used blush. I know. <laughs> I busted out this palette. Originally, I wanted to keep this in my makeup kit for my clients, but I ended up buying some other blushes to use for that kit. So I decided to use and keep this for my personal. I honestly will only use this because that's what I use and I only typically like to use brown, orangey, kind of bronzy types of blushes to begin with. For the remaining colors, I may try to use it one day or maybe not. Some family members may come over and I can use it on them. So now that I have this glam on, I'm gonna try to film some TikToks and some reels on Instagram. So if you guys haven't, I'll put my handles here for you guys to follow. All right guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, it would mean the world to me, especially if you are from the Bay Area. I can't wait to root on for them tonight. And if you guys wanna see me create this look, then please keep on watching. Good morning, and as usual, I'm gonna put on some lip balm. I've actually been on a Trader Joe's beauty kick these past weeks. I'm slowly trying the products, so I will slowly let you guys know my update. This is a gel-based moisturizer that has green tea and aloe. As always, I'm gonna put on some sunscreen, although there is sun or not, you guys know I love me some niacinamide and with some sunscreen skincare is the jam i know i look a bit glowy and dewy right now but it'll all come together with the makeup don't know what i'm doing but let's go ahead and put on my brows now with a little help of scotch tape i'm just going to remove additional adhesive so it doesn't pull and tug on my skin I normally can't get this pretty even, so I'm trying my best to really put it right under my lash line and bring it to the tails and pray that it's going to be even. So I'm going ahead and set my lid space since I did prime it and around my brows. I'm going to start off with a really light kind of nude color, skin color if you will. Just a quick little wash to even everything out. Then I'm going to jump in with a darker brown and it's going to be more on the cool tone. And I'm going to focus the brush really close at the tape, at the lash line, and I'm just taking my time feathering the colors from left to right, building to my desired preference. And you don't have to rush on this part because you really want a smooth transition, smokier blend look from the lash line all the way up to the tail. Now I'm going to take a flat shadow brush and apply on another matte color onto the lid space. This color really reminds me of the MAC yogurt. It's matte, it's bright, it's pink, but it's more on like a pastel -y color. And I love this because it really brightens up the eyes without using too much of a starking white color. 
All right, now let's go ahead and move on to lashes. Since I haven't used my serum in so long, it definitely shows, but using my Milk Kush mascara, it actually helps enhances my lashes. One of the few that actually works with my stubborn, straight, tiny, short little people lashes. Now let's go ahead and remove the tape and let's hope for the best. I'm not gonna look in the lens right away. I'm just gonna look in the mirror, make sure it's nice, and I have to say, it's pretty darn even. <laughs> Finally, I'm gonna focus this on the winged and just kind of bring it in. Make sure it has a nice gradient from dark to the lightest color to the center of the eyes. Then I'm gonna take a blank brush and just blend everything out. Gonna take another matte color, of course, cause this is a matte look. And I'm just gonna take that bone color. I would have to say it's kind of like vanilla or green from MAC. So if that's something you guys want to compare to, that would be it. I actually cleaned all my lashes and reorganized them. So let's choose the normal ones I usually use because I'm boring. All right, just gonna apply them on quickly as you guys saw. Gonna move on to primer. I love this stuff so much. It's an oldie but goodie. It definitely helps with the fine lines, textures, and the pores. As you can see, I'm really focusing this on the forehead because my forehead has wrinkles, the 11s are showing, and this definitely helps minimize it. Continuing on with some spot treating with a concealer. I recently purchased One Star by Patrick Star. Whoa, sorry, I said totally wrong. One Size by Patrick Star. I haven't used it yet because I filmed it before I bought it, but I'm so excited to try it. Comment down below some new concealers because I'm in the market for some new goodies that I don't need, but I just want them. <laughs> so next we're gonna use my current favorite foundation, which is by NARS. It's the Light Reflecting. Started using the Beauty Blender again. Actually, this is just the Blender by Equal Tools, but I just been back to the Blender game and just using it as a applicator and I miss it. So I also went back to my translucent powder game. So I don't necessarily bake it, but I take my damp blender and I just put the powder on there and just basically blot it all over my cheeks. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's super matte. My left side, it's still wet and sticky, of course, because it's not set, but that side is smooth like butter. <laughs> So I'm going to detail the eyes and add a little bit of that brown to my lower eyes. Gonna add a little bit of that same color onto the outer crease to give it a little bit more of a smokier, dramatic look. I felt like the lid space was a little bit dark and muddy, so I went back in with that same pink and just added it onto the lid space.
Just adding a little mascara to my lower eyelashes. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the black just on the outer winged part and I'm just going to blend it left and right carefully just again on the outer corners and I'm going to flick it upwards. Then we're going to move on to highlighter which I'm just going to highlight in my inner eyes. I decided to go back to the brows and detail there, adding more brow powder. And I decided to use some brow wax. I'm telling you guys, it's a complete full glam and it's been a while. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using my current bronzer. I think my skin was really smooth and flawless that the application was so nice only because I used the primer and setting it with powder that I kind of went ham on the bronzer, as you can see. Started sculpting out the hairline, the cheekbones, the jawbone, and, or the jawline, and my chin. And get ready guys, I'm pulling out a blush palette. Yes, I know, but I'm just gonna use a little bit. But this is such an intense color and so pretty, I just had to use it. Had to keep my composure because I was so excited, but I didn't have a blush brush because I don't use blush. So let me go ahead and get a brush and try to remember how to use blush. <laughs> just taking a big old fluffy brush, I know it's super intense, so I'm just going to have to blend it out really, really well. Again, that side, I think I had a little bit of too much blush on the cheeks. So I'm just going to have to work with it and blend it out as you can see in the next clip. And after consideration of blending everything out, <laughs> I was satisfied. And let's move on to my lips. This is actually my favorite drugstore lip gloss ever. It's by Maybelline. I believe it's called The Lifter. It makes my lips super plumpy because it's contained with hyaluronic acid. It's not sticky. And I just love this beigey nude brown color. Pairs well with this look. All right, let me continue on with my cheesy poses as it works with the video. I have to say, I was feeling my hair and I was feeling my makeup today, so I went with this video. Because you all know, if you're a YouTuber or just someone who creates videos, I don't know if you feel the same way, but sometimes I just film videos and when I go to edit, I'm like, I don't like this or I'm not feeling it. But today I am. Anyways, go Warriors. I hope you guys enjoyed the game today. Well, it's actually yesterday, but you know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.